Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back again. And today I am going to show you how to create a seamless diagonal pattern using Silhouette Studio and any program that you can convert to a PNG. And in my case, I'm going to be using Inkscape. So to get started, you're going to want to set up your page. I'm going to set up a six inch by six inch workspace. And the reason for this is I'll be tiling my patterns. Um, that's just my personal preference. You can do whatever size that you desire as long as it is a square. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our rectangle shape. And we are going to create a line rectangle. Okay. So you're going to take this and what I like to do is um, I'm going to make it a height of 12 inches because I know this will serve the purposes of what I need. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and go into the transform panel and I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. And then I am going to center this to the page. And what that's going to do is it's going to create your center line for your pattern. The next thing that you're going to do is open up your replicate panel. Now, you're going to go to the second tab, which is the advanced replicate. The number of copies and the pos position is going to change based off of personal preference but you're gonna click on this custom position. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna set the number of copies to like six, and hopefully that will be enough. And I'm gonna offset it, and basically you're gonna step this down, and you're gonna step it over a certain amount of space. And in this case, we're gonna do a half an inch, and we're gonna see what that looks like. And you're going to replicate it and you're going to see your lines drag out. Now, if that's not tight enough for you, you can um, bring that back a little. So I'll go ahead and do 0 0.25, 0 0.25 at a quarter of an inch and click on replicate. And you can see that's not enough for me to get to where I need. So I'm going to go ahead and do eight. That wasn't enough either. Overshooting is good. Okay, so we have it. Now we're going to click on that middle line again, and we're just going to put a negative or a minus, whatever you want to call it, in front of that quarter inch, and click on replicate. Now that's going to fill your entire panel. Here is what I do. I'm going to go ahead and save this as an SVG. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into my folder where I saved that. I'm going to open it up. You're going to see that it's going to open up in Inkscape. If it will ever load. Do, 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 do. Okay. So you can see that this has loaded in Inkscape. Now, this isn't going to work because we want this six inch by six inch box or tile, whatever you want to call it. So to do this, you're going to go hit Control Shift E and it's going to go open up the export PNG image. And what you're going to do here is you're going to want to make sure that the page is selected. Okay. Now you're going to see everything in pixels and that's fine. Don't freak out at 300 DPI, 1800 pixels is six inches. I know this because, well, I've worked with pixels and 300 DPI enough to know, um, that that's what the math is. <clears throat> Anyways, if you click on page, 
it's only going to save what is in this 6x6 box. So you could go ahead and click on export <clears throat> and you can save it to whatever file you want or whatever you want your test to be and click on export. So now your PNG is saved. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Photoshop P and I'm just going to reload this entirely because I don't want to deal with all the stuff that I was doing earlier. And we're going to do two things. First thing we're going to do is click on new project. And this is going to be diagonal line paper. And you're going to do 3600 by 3600, 300 TPI with a transparent background. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to open up the PNG that we just saved. Okay. Here it is. You're going to go and you're going to take this. You leave it just as is. You're going to go to Edit, Define New, Pattern. Okay? Now, we're going to go back to our paper. Click on Effects. Click on Pattern Overlay. I'm sorry. Pattern Fill. And click on the pattern that we just uploaded. Okay? Now, you can change the scale if you so wish. Or leave it as is. And you can see that it's tiled out. So in this case, we went from a 6x6 to a 12x12. So basically, you're seeing one, two, three, four tiles in here. Okay, And then I will attach the other video, but you can change the color of your stripes by applying a color overlay and you can change the back color by applying a color fill and I will go ahead and post what I did in another video and that's it that's all you need to do to create a diagonal pattern you do the replicate function in here at whatever spacing you see fit and then save it as a PNG making sure that your page is selected, export it, open it up in Photoshop or Photop, define it as a new pattern and apply it to whatever you see fit. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you like this video, please feel free to click like and subscribe. Uh, you guys keep me motivated to do more of these. And I will say when I discovered how to do this, I freaked out because most of the patterns I buy are not seamless, and I do appreciate a seamless pattern. Um, the next video that you will see released is the same process except a chevron pattern. So I hope everybody has a great night.